every year that's never changed when those kids come through the door. That's the best feeling. Teachers are more than ready to get back into the classroom after almost six months at home. In the Butler School District, the decorations are going up and the building setup is being finalized for the first day. Nicole Ford is live outside Emily Britton with our first look inside a school that will be housing students in person. Nicole? Stacy Butler parents had two options this fall, traditional in-person classes or cyber learning. Well, about 23% of the student body at this elementary school will be going remote, but educators spent the summer getting this building ready for the rest of them. From the moment you walk through the front door. This is our uh, station that will be manned by one of our staff members, and it will take um, up to 30 kids temperatures at a time. The routine at Emily Britton has changed. It, it does like skin surface temperature. If somebody were to have a temperature, it will flash red so we can watch as students are coming in. Signs are up and space is the name of the game. It doesn't take too long. You just have to make sure you stay on the line. Principal Cassie Pensick has spent countless hours working to make sure all her students can return to the classroom five days a week. So we um, had maintenance take down this wall in order to make another classroom for first grade. That change in infrastructure allows for smaller class sizes and desks to be spaced six feet apart. Kindergarten's very hands-on, so it just, it really racked my brain a little bit to think outside the box and how I can set up the classroom to make it still a family community and do what I do. Teacher Lindsay Rawl will welcome 10 little kindergartners on September 1st. But despite the age old saying sharing is caring, that won't be the case. This year I do have pencil cases for all of them. Um, they'll be getting their own supplies, their own crayons. They'll obviously be able to keep them within their own space and their desks. Keeping kids in the classroom is the goal as Rawl takes on the role of art and music teacher and even lunchroom monitor. Every aspect of life has been a little different. Um, so I don't think anybody thought we were going to come back to school and it was just going to be where we had left off. Now, when you think about a typical kindergarten classroom, you think tables and chairs everywhere. Well, the district provided every school one of these trailers in order to store all of that extra furniture so that each classroom would meet CDC guidelines. We're live in Butler tonight. Nicole Ford, KDKA News.